All right, here we are. Happy Saturday. Up yay high on an office tower. You want to see something different? You want to see something different? There's something different. It's a freaking line pump sitting on the 32nd story of an office tower. How do we get it here, you ask? Well, this unit was set up on our uh, little Isuzu NRR chassis as a quick detach. And it just uses these four, four mounting locations, one in each corner, these quick disconnect pins. Fly it back down, pull these out, separate it from these legs here, and it drops right back on the truck. Bingo, bango. Everything as far as the pump unit is uh, independent. The radio control, electronics, and everything are housed on the actual detachable unit. The only thing we have to plug back into the truck is the hydraulics here, the quick connects for the, uh, the water pump, because the water pump and tank stay mounted to the truck. Super easy, relatively handy for stuff like this, well, very handy. Um, the only downfall of this, building the truck as such to accommodate this probably added about a thousand pounds of weight to it on a truck that is uh, arguably near the threshold of uh, weight capacity to begin with. But uh, we've had to do this a few times and it works really, really well. So I'll show you what they're gonna pour here. They're gonna feed this obviously, they're flying buckets with the crane, they're pouring the roof slab right now and they're gonna start filling the pump here with buckets. And why are we doing this, you ask? Why this craziness? Well, because, 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 we gotta get into the lobby here. And it's not much hose, it's only a couple loads of concrete. But the engineers are absolutely adamant about not running wheelbarrows full of concrete across the styrofoam. So, here we are. All just for a couple loads of concrete, but you gotta get it there somehow. So, we're gonna start pouring here in about an hour. I'm hoping to be able to stick around, or at least show a bit of the pouring. If not, I might have to hand the, the camera off to my buddy Ian there and get him to get some footage for me. Um, try and get some footage of flying the unit back down onto the pump and kind of show you how it attaches to that truck. Of course, Murphy's Law, it's my, uh, my wife's birthday today, so if, if I stick around too long, I get in big, big trouble. So sometimes they just, they just don't understand stuff like this. But anyhow, uh, I'll go up top, check out what the guys who are doing the, the roof slab right now, and then uh, we'll check back in a little bit here. But yeah, quick detach. TK60 high pressure line pump. You've heard about a detachable placing boom? Well now you've got a detachable line pump. There you go. All right, bit of a view up here. Not too shabby. Here's the uh, part where it gets really kind of creepy and uncomfortable. Let's walk over to where the pump is. So this is like level 36 of an office tower. So I don't know what we are, about 425 feet in the air. Just carry on down the slope here, no big whoop. Check out where our pump is stationed. Get a pretty good angle from over here. It'll come back up a bit. There she is. Her happy little home for the day. But yeah, this is pretty cool to say the least. This is the one I've filmed here a bunch where we had our placing boom on this building. Placing boom came out, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. And they've done the roof level here by uh, Curry. By crane and bucket, as I was saying, before I was so rudely interrupted by the Hilti hammer drill. my wife's birthday so I gotta go when they fly the pump down it's a magnetic mount I need you to attach that to the side of the pump when they fly it down can you handle this mission
we're head back down to pump level. How's about the view? Holy crapola. What a day. Gorgeous. All right, well, I was lingering around hoping to get some footage of the actual pour, but uh, I've just been informed by Ian, our operator is up top there. They haven't even batched the mud yet. So I'm gonna give him a call here and give him some very specific tasks. I think he's up to the challenge. Hey. Buddy. Okay, I get a fly then, buddy. I, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave you with a very important task of getting footage. Alright, sounds good. And uh I'll give you all the content. All the content, narration, and what's the most important thing to do at the end, do you remember? <laughs> like share, subscribe. Oh yeah, time is three, buddy. Okay, I'll leave it to you. You got all the right. GoPro, right? Armed with the GoPro? Yeah, yeah. If the batteries die, you're okay to use your phone, but there should be lots of life on the GoPro. I'll only get the important stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the get the prime out, a little bit of footage of the actual pour or whatever. Uh, don't worry about the washout or any of that. But uh, if you can catch the uh, the camera on the way down, get it get it mounted on the pump. And maybe if you got your phone handy, if you can also video from your phone from street level as it comes down. And if you're not too caught up in the heat of the battle, a little bit of it going back on the pump frame, if you are, no big deal. Just when you're done, maybe do a little walk around an explanation of how it reattached. Okay. I trust you. If it hits, if it hits 25,000 views, I'll take you out for, for lunch, $100 maximum credit. <laughs> that's gotta cover both of us though. That's for, that's for you and me, so you really only get 50. <laughs> Anyhow. You can you can do it. Let me know how it goes. Okay, don't talk to you later. Okay, Bye. Alright, so you heard it. I gotta fly out of here unfortunately. It's my wife's birthday and she has booked us in for roller skating this afternoon. Roller skating. Not roller blading, roller skating, like the four wheels, the uh, the disco type stuff. I almost hate to uh, to admit it. Maybe I'll edit it out of this video. Maybe I won't. Anyhow, I'm gonna uh, man up here and uh, walk down 35 floors. Would never in my wildest dreams walk up, but we're gonna walk all the way down, and we'll check in on the pump unit and do a little walk around on that before I take off. Here we go. All right, here we are. We're at level. 19, I'm actually tired from walking down. My personal record for walking up is 29 stories on an office tower, so that's about 35 stories on a resi tower. It was in my 20s, though I could never do that at this age. What's, uh, what's, your, what's your, your personal records for climbing stairs in a, uh, in a high-rise tower? All right, so here's the rest of the pump. So as you can, well, we got our water tank obviously mounted to the pump. And then there's a water pump unit. Let me try and find the water pump unit. Water tank heater, water pump unit is, there we go. Frame rail mounted. See the hydraulic lines there? We just uh, hook up the quick connects and we're good to go, ready to rock, so. But anyhow, the actual pump unit drops down right on the frame here. And we just put the pins through. So there's obviously one on each corner. See up front here too. So yeah, once you get the pump unit off of this thing, there really isn't much to it. But as I said, to accommodate this detachable setup, there's a fair bit of extra steel into this thing. It's gotta be at least a thousand pounds. And like I said, this truck is a little bit, a little underpowered to begin with. So unless you're really gonna use this feature, I don't think I would really recommend doing this. I mean, on this thing, if we hadn't done that, we could have gone with some nice aluminum decks. We probably could have saved a couple thousand pounds almost, but uh, yeah, this is the truck. Aside from that though, from being underpowered, this, uh, this little Isuzu has been relatively bulletproof in terms of reliability. I would 100% 
use the same chassis again to build another line pump for what we do because we're not packing around a whole whack of steel pipe we're usually just rubber hoses and a few pipes so it's perfect for us but but yeah so my man ian has been left with a camera and he's going to catch the footage of the pump being lowered from all the way up there back down onto the truck unit bingo bango piece of cake I should mention the other lines, the other two quick connects here, because there's four in total, the other two. Those are actually coolant lines that run from the pump, uh, the pump engine into our, our hot water tank heating element right here, right there, that's the one. So a necessity for our uh, cooler winters we get here in Vancouver. Anyhow, we'll leave it at that and uh, you know, catch the rest from here on out. Happy Saturday. This is Ian. It's not Scott. I'm taking over. We are pumping on the 32nd floor. This is my water source so I can wash out in that green pan. Here's my air. And here's my Benny. A nice little Benny. Okay. I'll come back when we start priming. Day Ian the life. POV. Here we go. Well, I'm just gonna wet everything up right now and then I'm ready to go when you are, so. Mind your ears, man. He's saying right now, why didn't you wrap it up? Yeah, Scotty, it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a mess.
coming. You, you guys have a bucket? No. No bucket? I only have my bucket lighter. Hey, I got, I'll give you a bucket. Oopsies. Here. Pump one. I only put a third, so you're good. Okay, volume up. Smarter, not harder. Right, big man. Put ten feet.
You can edit whatever you want. I think I did good. All right, well, it looks like we're done. I just gotta get my invoice signed. Anyways, as Scott always says, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. Look at that. Like, share, subscribe. Bye.